Hello everybody, this is Amber Stokes and I work on the I-Team for Academic Technology Services. And this is just a quick uh, overview recording um, of what to look for in your Summer Institute course. Um, we're going to be seeing you on Monday and all the teams are very excited about these, all the things we're going to be teaching you and all the guest speakers and all of the apps we're going to show you. Um, it's going to be a great week uh, kicking it off and we, we're set to go two weeks. And so I just wanted to have you look inside the course and uh, read through that announcement that Sid Burroughs, uh, my colleague Sid Burroughs sent to you, and also just have a look at some of the things you're going to need to know um, for your first day, things you need to bring, um, things you need to be thinking about uh, for that first day. So um, what I want you to do is when you get a chance, please log in to ole.sandiego.edu. That's ole.sandiego.edu. And once you log in, you'll see what you're looking at on the screen here. And under, um, you'll see where your My Courses area is. You usually have the courses you have already requested or have taught previously. Right below that, you'll see My Organizations. And in that, uh, I want you to click on Summer Innovative Institute, June 2014. Okay. Now I'm in the administrator view, so I'm going to turn it into sort of a halfway student view. This is more of what you'll be seeing when you log in. Okay, I just want you to take note. We haven't given you a lot of content. We've just got you started out for day one. So all you need to do for now is read the announcement on the first page that Sid sent you. And there's a couple of requirements that you need to do right now, um, including to take the survey for the stipend. Um, we need to know because we're going to be, um, you have to have an iPad 3 generation or newer on day one. Um, and if you don't have that, then um, that's okay. Just indicate that in the stipend and, and select that that's your option for the institute. You also need to bring a current syllabus, a digital photo of yourself, uh, some of your materials on a flash drive or a cloud service. And there's several accounts that you need to take to, some time and create prior to arriving on Monday. Some of those accounts uh, that you already have is My San Diego. You may already have an Apple ID. If you don't, please create one. There's a link there for you. A Google account, Twitter, Facebook, Flickr, and Qualtrics. Please click on those links and make sure you're getting those accounts set up. We're going to be using iPads that first day, and we'll be helping you learn how to download apps if you don't already know. Before you arrive, please do um, check out this uh, list of to-do for arrive, and um, just take a look at some of those assignments and get familiar with the navigation we've set up in those bold uh, with the arrows. This is all going to happen uh, Monday in Sarah 155, and that's going to be at 9 a.m., We'll provide a continental breakfast, and lunch will be provided that first day. There's going to be Mac laptops at every station, but you're always welcome to bring your own laptop. We've already installed all the software on those uh, lab laptops, but there's going to be people from Help Desk um, that eventually can help you. Um, so you can take your, your computer to Help Desk before then, or we'll, we'll be arranging for having uh, your laptop set up, as should be, for all participation during the Institute. Your first homework will be posted a little bit later today, and it'll just take a few things uh, to do. You're going to have to go into activating your Blackboard courses and uh, loading your syllabus um, into the Sandbox course that's been created for you. And we'll do a quick start guide that you review. If you have any questions, yet, of course, you can always contact us at iteam at sandiego.edu. Again, that is I-T-E-A-M at sandiego.edu. That was just a quick review of the announcement. Um, hope you've had time to take a look through and checklist it. Um, additionally, on the left side here, I just want you to see the menu. This is the announcements we're looking at, but you can look at workshop content. And in that, you'll see day one. So the first day's workshop introduction and overview. And you're welcome to look at any of these materials that we've provided to you. You can do the pre-readings, and you can just take a look at who's going to be our speakers. scroll back up and you'll see that there's also a weekly schedule posted on the left side this is a very detailed uh, view of everything we're going to be doing by times you can see at the top of the page 
it says the date here. And then it also covers uh, the topics for the day. For first day, we're going to focus on pedagogy. Uh, June 3rd, instructional design. Wednesday, uh, June 4th, mobile learning. June 5th, flipped blended learning. And then June 6th, media. And if you scroll down, you can actually see what we're going to do week two. Week two, we're going to start off on Monday, June 9th, with a Blackboard how-to. On June 10th, we're going to cover media and social media. On June 11th, we're going to cover communication. On June 12th, evaluation. And June 13th, we're going to be final presentations. Please take, take your time and look around these different details and what, what specific topics and sessions we're going to have in those um, categories. Also, if you're interested in who's going to be speaking, you can look at the instructor burrows. You can look at the instructor bios and look through the Academic Technology Services Instructional Support and Training Staff bios. And if you scroll down the page, you can actually see who our guest speakers are going to be. We've got quite a list of guest speakers. We're very proud of all these people that we've selected and think they'll bring a lot of uh, information and good conversation to us this year. Okay, well that was a quick overview, so I'm going to scroll back up the page. Very slow. Alright, so I'm going to click on the announcements. And then just one more time, I guess a discussion board I want to show you is under the tools section. We do have a couple things that are leading posts here. We've got participant introductions. Um, you can definitely just provide a brief biography uh, and, and let us know why you chose to join us this year. Um, and that's more to kind of communicate amongst each other because you have met with all of us in person with the team but it's great to have like a bio or something posted so that everyone can and can read. Um, there's also a forum for questions and answers. If you have any questions about the co uh, any of the content, um, general questions, they can go in that forum. There's a technical questions forum that we welcome any questions about uh, technology, um, whatever that is for you, please post it there. If um, you have additional resources you'd like to contribute, including links that are useful, apps, tips, or other things that your fellow faculty members might find interesting, please post them under additional resources. And um, your iPad apps can actually go into the iPad app specific uh, forum. And you can share your syllabus. Uh, that we're going to be working on that early in the week, so you may be doing some of that already. But if you want to post it and share, that will be in that uh, forum as well. So that's all you need to know. Um, hopefully uh, you're looking forward to it as much as we are. And uh, it's just going to be a fun-filled week, a lot of collegiality, a lot of learning. And, um, and hopefully putting, you know, everyone's going to be uh, learning in places that they may be learning technology or, or processes they haven't learned before. So we're all hoping to grow uh, from this institute. Um, looking forward to seeing you all there. Thanks again, and we'll see you on Monday.